the divine is not humanly reasonable that's what separates us the journey here is to not um, <clears throat> remain hooked into your human reasoning skills because life is not a reasonable experience it's a mystery a mustard seed can move a mountain to the logical reasonable mind that says oh really let me see you do that <laughs> but if you understood it symbolically you realize that genuine faith can shift anything in the physical world and it can so that the way the gods work is they always send in great power in a very humble way and because human beings always look for great power in a very big way yes we always do this just like you think that when when you look for guidance you'll expect a vision when in fact guidance will come in the smallest moment instead of the greatest vision we've started to pursue questions that prior to this time prior to the last thirty or forty years have been restricted to monasteries the mainstream of society was not sitting around wondering for what cosmic purpose had they incarnated yes. on this planet. Yes. That was not a normal question. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when you begin to pursue that kind of question, it's not a question, it's an invocation. It's a big, huge difference there. Yes. And when you invite that kind of response in, what you are actually saying to the heavens is, you now have permission to change my life in any which way that needs to be changed in order for me to understand the answer to the question I've just asked. Okay? So for one thing, it's an incredibly powerful question, and number two, you're going to be tremendously frightened by the answer. Okay? You are going to walk into it feeling that you have walked into something that's a logical, rational experience, and you have not. The spiritual path is fully irrational. That's why it fits so well in the physical world, because that's fully irrational. And if you choose a rational path, you may as well go out drinking the rest of your life, because you'll never solve anything. Right.